this lesson is on related fractions and whole numbers. This is lesson 8-6 in the book that we're following. And uh, don't forget, all your lessons can be found at MrMathLog.com. Hey, if you get a chance, would you please click like on this video? That helps encourage me to continue making these videos. And, or if you don't like them, click dislike or make a comment or something, okay? I'm getting lots of comments from my parents, from uh, students, from teachers. Um, anyways. Uh, so uh, our essential question is what might we use as a fraction greater than uh, 1 or equal to a whole number? All right, well, what does that mean? And I'll un we'll unwrap that in this lesson here. So here's uh, the first question. So Tom ran one mile and Jerry ran four-fourths of a mile. Did Tom and Jerry run the same distance? Well, some of you guys already know the answer, but let's go ahead and we're going to uh, locate 1 and four-fourths on a number line. Okay, so we're going to shade four lengths of one-fourth and, and label the, the number line. So we're going to shade, so we've already had the fraction strips and divided up. Uh, this is one right here, the number line uh, between zero and one. And we divided them up into four equal pieces right here. And let me, let's move that up so we can get some room here. Okay, so let's shade the four lengths of one-fourth and label the number line. Okay, so this is going to be zero-fourths. So that represents that. And so as soon as I shade that, this is going to be one-fourth right here. Okay, so there's, there's one-fourth. There's two-fourths right there. There's, uh, and then we're going to shade the third one. So there would be three of the four. And then there's four of the four right there. Okay, so draw a point at one and four-fourths. Okay, so a point on the number line. There it is for the one right there and the four-fourths. They're at the same spot. So we'll put a point right there. Okay, and since the distances of one and four-fourths end at the same point, then they are equal to each other. So Tom and Jerry did run the same distance. Okay. So um, any number over itself equals 1. Like over here, here's 8 eighths. This equals 1. Okay, and this 0 to 1 is divided up into 8 equal sections. So this is going to be called eighths. These are all in terms of how many eighths they are. So complete the number line and locate and draw the points 4. And draw. We're going to draw a point at 4 eighths and 8 eighths and then at 1 again. Okay. Now, these guys are going to be the same, 8 eighths and 1. So we'll end up putting a point over here shortly. Okay, so here's 0 eighths. This is going to be 1 eighth and then 2 eighths. And then let me go over here. Okay, so there's 1 eighth, there's 2 eighths, there's 3 eighths. Okay, now it said to draw a point at 4 eighths, so we drew a point right there. 5 eighths, 6 eighths, 7 eighths, and finally 8 eighths. It told us to draw a point there and at 1. So that's the same point right there. My hand's uh, on, the, on my table here. Uh, so uh, are 4 eighths and, and 1 equal? Okay, so are 4 eighths and 1 equal? Well, let's think about this for a second. Or do they have the end at the same uh, spot? Are, they, are these points at the same spot? Well, no, they're not at the same spot. So since they're not going to be equal since they're not at the same spot, okay? How about um, uh, are 8 eighths and 1 equal? Well, same question. Are they in, do they end at the same point? Yes, they, since they end at the same point, then they are equal to each other. Okay, nice and easy. All right, so here, here's a connection between this. So the number of equal parts, parts the whole is divided into is the denominator of a fraction. Well, we talked about this in Lesson 8-4, uh, I believe. So uh, the number of equal parts that the whole is divided into is the denominator of a fraction. So here on this number line, now it doesn't have to be a number line. It could be a circle divided up into equal parts. I'll show you later on in the lesson. Okay, but this uh, this whole from 0 to 1 was divided up into 8 equal pieces. So 8 was the denominator there. The first example with Tom and Jerry, that was divided up. This whole, the whole from 0 to 1, that was a whole, was divided up into 4 equal pieces. So um, the denominators on this was in fourths or 4. Okay, so here it was divided up into 8. So the denominator was in eighths or 8. And then, uh, so however many it's divided up into. The number of parts that are being counted is always the numerator, okay? So let's go back to those number lines here. So we we're just going to count this one. This was uh, 1 out of the 8. This was 2 out of the 8. So the number of parts that we're counting is always your numerator. And the denominator, remember, is the, uh, the number of equal parts that it, the whole is divided up into right here, okay? So here is 1 fourth, 2 fourths, and then this one would have been 3 fourths, and finally 4 fourths, okay? All right. So a fraction that's greater than 1 has a numerator greater than its denominator. So we'll have a couple of examples here where the numerator is greater than the denominator. So here's an example. 
each shape is one hole okay so here there are four holes one two three four whole pieces that's what I'm talking about not like hole in the wall but whole pieces okay so write a whole number uh, and a fraction greater than one for the parts that are shaded okay well the whole number on this is four since there's four holes right here okay all right and then um, and then so the uh, how many equal parts are there well there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so there's twelve equal parts and since they're to be divided up into three parts equally or thirds then there are twelve thirds of a part remember the denominator is uh, uh, when your whole is divided up into equal parts so this whole is divided up into three equal parts this whole is divided up into three equal parts so the denominator is three okay and since there's twelve of these uh, equal parts then it's equal to twelve thirds okay so here's a fraction where the numerator is greater than the denominator right here okay all right now let's try another one here so each shape here uh, is one hole so we have five holes here and then each hole is divided into one equal part so we didn't divide any of these circles in, into parts so uh, write uh, a whole number well there, it's equal to five because there's five holes right there and then um, and since each are divided into one equal part well how many how many um, equal parts are shaded right there well there's five equal parts they're all the just the whole circle right there okay and since um, each whole circle is divided into one equal part that's the denominator how many parts is it divided into is our denominator so this is going to equal five over one okay so there's our fraction where the numerator is greater than the denominator later on they're called improper fractions but we don't need to know that just yet all right let's try a little problem solving here so each shape here is one hole. So how many holes do we have here? I see four holes right here. So which number names the parts that are shaded? So give all that applies. So there's more than one correct answer over here. Okay. Well, I know there's not six holes. There's four holes. So I can cross off the six, no problem. Okay. So that's one of the correct answers. Well, let's do the other correct answer right here. Okay. So let's check out. Each of these circles is divided into one, two, three, four, five, six. Six pieces. So I know that this one, that's the denominator, it's not E. Okay, and then I just got to count up how many equal pieces there are, okay? So from uh, way back in section 8.4, the numerator tells us how many parts are being counted. So we'll just go ahead and count all these little pieces right here. There's six here, there's six here, six here, six here. The denominator tells us how many equal parts are in the whole group, okay? So in this whole group, there's six equal parts. So that's the denominator. So I know it's not choice E, and then when we count them all up, we find out that there's 24 equal pieces, so it's going to be D on that one as well, okay? All right, you guys, take care.